Cherry bomb. Hmm? That is a cat. Hmm. Hey, get a load of this statue's face. It's got the same blank expression as you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Oh, thank, thank you, I guess. But what do you do with this? Can't exactly make it blossom. Can I? Probably not, but up oh, there's something. Can I get on land on top of the cat? No, I can't. At least I don't think I can. I can't move it or anything else. But there's something up there. All the way at the top when the murder controls start lining up with me. Yeah, you can see it up there. Huh. I'll figure it out some other day, I think. Because right now I don't think I have possibly the tools needed to actually get up there either. Another shrine! I'll deal with you in a moment. Damn it, I hit them again. actually did hit me there. Oh shit, that's a counter! That's a counter, that's amazing! I got one tree, or technically two trees if you count two half regular poultry that one good tree. Sasano, what are you doing now? <laughs> Not you again, fight out. Tisk tisk. Why must you always dog my footsteps? I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass, beyond the fo this fort forest. It goes by the name of Crimson something or other. And it's rumored to have a hundred followers. What do you mean, Crimson something or other? The, the name slipped my mind. That's all. Anyway, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster. Before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Takaya Pass is out, so why rush? But have no fear, once I master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast, even if I have to swim through turbine wa turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. JK, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. What's that emote? It's a God damn it, game! Even the mouse controls are inverted. Why? Not only that, fucking hell, like, I'm moving my mouse a little bit right now. It's just... Like, this is a, me swiping slowly and just a fast motion. Dear God, what's wrong with the sensitivity here? I gotta see what emote is that. That's a, uh... Flatty lurk. Oh, lucky, you got a lurk emote. Oh, God! Don't fight up. You earned it. Really, bitch? Ooh, 
What's that? You consumed grapes! Yeah! Fill the astro pouch a little. And I hit him again accidentally. Fuck. counter. At least that works a little bit. And, oh, look at you. We must feed you. Fine. Meat. Fish. Everyone likes plants. From asleep to eating. Go from Leeward to the counter. It's God, our cuts actually get really get the tree. Damn it. tree there before. Let's see, what else do we have here? Sun is still gonna be just that. There's a chest here! Which kind of sucks, but can I? Can that work? It cannot! Is that like a ninja of Ohio, JKO? What the hell, man? <laughs> Give me this. You obtained enhancing weapons. Scroll drawn by wandering artist. Contain useful information. Also, let me know about enhancing weapons then. I'll actually read that one. Divine instrument weapons can be powered up with gold dust. This rare powder, powder is highly valued by merchants and traders. Use it once and the destructive power of a weapon is increased. Gold dust can be used only once and only on a single weapon. Note that even, even weapons powered up using this method cannot exceed the power of inherently stronger weapons obtained later. So even if I upgrade a weapon, if a future weapon is stronger, it will still forever be stronger. I guess. Did you see ruins? That place is about that person made such a fuss about. Hmm, the gates get get the gates locked tight. Hey, didn't that kid say he lost the key in the in the water? That he did. That he did. Don't play it. <laughs> Not a bad thing. This guy found a good game. I wonder if you'd actually see the key, like if it's in the water, and we can fish it out maybe with like our beads of reaching. Is that a chest? You obtained battle tips. All right, sure. Then what do you gotta say? Oh, how funny! I don't think I've seen a white wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but matters are matters. The name is Soon, and this fair ball here is Amaterasu. That's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? As for me, 
I'm the infamous Fang Trader. Yes, I am the Great Kiba. The Great Fang Trader Kiba. Now then, Shocky, you know about monster leftovers, right? You know what you get when you defeat a monster? I'm talking about the Demon Fangs. Demon Fangs? All you need to do is is tan those monsters' hides. They drop a demon fang just before they they disappear. The aristocrats love to have them as a symbol of power. They'll pay any price you care to ask. So then, Chalky, got any of them on you? <laughs> Naturally, I don't expect you to give them to me for free. I, the great Kiva, have collected treasures from all over Nippon. We can do a swap. I, I guess I can now see what is so good about getting the fangs, because I've never actually looked at it. Protect travelers from danger. Increase godhood level by one. Then increase godhood to max. Fills the astral pouch instantaneously. Peaceful. Emits a holy tone that keeps demon scrolls at bay. Makes a cash offering. Make cash offering sleep on this mat, and your wounds will heal. Brings owner luck. Draws money and other valuables near. That instantly is pretty good, actually. I guess I'll save up for the golden lucky cat, I guess. Because that just sounds like it's a good thing. Well, this could be... Okay, but not really necessary. Finally hit him again. And this fish is gonna kill me. Talk to you for trading. Oh, there's one right there. You obtained Traveler's Charm. Protects travelers from danger. Increases Godhead by one level. Nice. And here's another one of these things. You obtained Dragonfly Bead. Uniquely shaped bead that shines in multiple layers of color. Thank you, I guess. There's another one over there. Ah! Have Magic Kazooie? Never played Magic Kazooie, actually. Except how the game is. I don't think I've actually seen much of it, aside from hearing about how the music is done, but that's it. Temporarily increases defense. Nice. Wait, was that a red thing down there? It looks like the outline of a red person was just there and now it's gone. That kind of sucks. And you obtained the glass beads. These beads show no cracks in a test is a testament to the artist's skill. Yay. Can I okay? Nothing else that I can try and blossom or anything else over here. That I think at least. Oh, there is one, yeah. The one that I skipped because I thought I all these were healing items. Japanese ma Yay, stuff. Should I be in a cave? Probably, but exploration. Loot! Things to collect! What's so good? There's so much things to look at right now. And these things, just the fragments and all these statue things, sort of things. I could collect those and get other stuff. Ah! 
Water. You obtain Steel Fist Sake. Sake brewed with spirits of steel. Temporarily increases attack? Okay, yeah. We have a uh, temporary increase attack and temporarily increasing defense. There's the kid who we don't have. He doesn't have any hooks or anything else that he can use. And that guy, I actually don't think we've talked to yet. Well, now, there's something you don't see every day. Oh, White Wolf, you look just like that Shiranui. There used to be lots of animals here in Agatha Forest, but they started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Oh, listen to me. Now hardly the, now it's hardly the time for that kind of chit-chat. Hmm. I wonder what could what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the front in the forest, did you? The area river was flooded during the storm of the other the other day. You see, the bridge to Kasui Village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to to work on building a new bridge, but he's so busy with that dog of his that he just won't make won't make a start. I probably gotta finish the dog thing with right here, and then he could actually start building the bridge. In order of stuff. Gotcha. Ah! You fish out the run the rune's key, but lost all his lines and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Man, this kid's a crybaby. Give him a good headbutt, Amy. Maybe that'll straighten him up. Pleasure. Ouch! Now cut that out. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins. So you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But... Listen here, kid. Finishing, uh, fishing's all about attitude. Attitude. There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever. It's all, it's all can be yours. Go ahead. Act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Do I have to draw it now? Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflect uh, the moon's reflection on the surface of the water. No one knows that the legend is true. But to this day, the moon never rises here in Agatha Forest. Give the fairy tale the rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun, fun. Okay, Amy. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, just make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. Draw a line connecting the fishing pole to the fish to get a bite. Once you've hooked the fish, uh, move the left stick in the opposite direction of the, of the fish movement. I didn't see, actually. All right. If you pull too hard, the power gauge will move into the red area and the life gauge will begin to deplete. Keep a close eye on the fish and don't overdo it. When you pull the fish close, a button will appear on the screen. Press the button and that yank that fish out of the water. Use the power flash to fish uh, to fish off your catch. Finish off your catch. Keep fishing and you might get a chance to reel in a gigantic fish. Whoa, did I actually get a, a bite without a line? Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Just reel it in nice and slow. Catch. You caught crawfish! That works! Yeah. 
Another one at the crab. You caught a river crab. Oh, hey, look, a big fish. You caught giant salmon. Wow, that, that's a big one. You gonna cough out the key? Hmm? Hey! That's the ruins key! It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish. Now I can go save Ume over there, over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in, in this time. No running away from me now. And then we steal his key. Hey, give that back! <laughs> Good move, Amy. We can't have the kid getting hurt on your watch. Well, what are we waiting for? We got lost. We got a lost dog to find, and pseudo ruins. Rude. Ah! Well, let's go look for that for that kid's dog. I'm actually hoping we might find something more, something more. Nobody's entered these ruins for ages, right? Just think about it. There could be a fabulous treasure hoard hidden in there. <laughs> but enough talk. Let's start looking. Big spooky scare cave. There's another flying thing. Another one too. I'm actually not there, game. Fine, put me there then. It's a really oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. And what's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there, Furball. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check out, check it out? Maybe, but first, we're gonna save. And then, if I remember these things, you can. Was it these things that you that you bloom, or was it something else? Oh no, I cut them. First, a random amount of stuff. You consume gourd. Vegetable of many uses. Fill that pouch a little bit. My pouch is still full, so I'm not sure if I should actually be cutting those things off or not. Probably not. You obtained Enhancing Divinity. All right. And I obtained a Traveler's Charm again. And from there, is there anything else I can look at over here? Well, aside from another one. Oh boy. Get purified, little tree. Oh god, I almost actually fell off. And that is a...
Steel Soul Sake. Another one of those things that probably increases my defense, I think. it's That's the one that, uh... Yep. Defense the, the attack on something else. What's with these things that... Like, these boxes that hold stuff that's bigger than themselves? I think they're straight up magic. Okay, we're gonna try and explore this whole thing then. Get a closer look at anything in the cave or no? Probably. I guess if I should go in there or not. Or should I keep wondering? I'm like, that's an entrance over there, so probably go in through that. Actually, is it an entrance? I don't think it is. That's not all. Even that hard head of yours won't work. Does this wall just move? Nah, it's impossible. Let's keep going. It has arms, doesn't it? Wonder why that thing was moving. Oh well. Oh, there's another one too, right. There I wait! Ah! That is... Wait! Ah! Never mind, no lily pads work here! I just jumped before it even finished making it. Yeah. No lily pads then. Thank you for the heal. Which means in this one we yep. Evil tree, can I I need to actually stun you, right? There we go, and... Alright. And aside from that, one of these is gonna hit me too. That one's an angry one waiting to happen. In this fucking black clovers. Then through that still is more seven things. An item. That's not a circle. Is this cold in that? It's bigger than it. There we go. And this is not the purple evil goop. I think I'm supposed to go that way. So what else is around here? Like the those things. If I can jump. Wait. There we go. I keep jumping early. God damn it. There you go. God. Platforming, my one weakness. Why can't I? I'm gonna trust you. 
Stand by me, please. Why the nut? There you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot to have the attack, the, like, air attack dash thing. For that, to extend it. What else is there up here, if anything else? Oh, fixed camera. All the way to this. Canasta. I'd like to move the camera, please. There you go. Much better. Now we need to make lily pads. Ah. Went too far. I keep going too far. <laughs> 